Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post, and you join me here once again in Transport Fever 2 in my Bristol series. Yeah, this might look a little bit unexpected. <laughs> you may recall in the last episode I created a con mat. Uh, yeah, a combat delivery system, basically, uh, around here between Barrow, Breen, and going all the way out here to Cheddar and stuff. And I had a mass of roads coming into this uh, distribution centre here, really. And they all crossed over the track at least once, if not, in some cases, several times. And I thought, that really doesn't work terribly well. So, off camera, I played around and I created a not terribly attractive roundabout here which should reduce the waiting time for some of the routes anyway on part of their journey. I probably should have actually moved this uh, truck depot here, this truck station, a little bit further down so there wouldn't be such a precipitous, such a steep incline there. That, that terrain needs fixing doesn't it? I want to paint that. Can I remember what colour it was? Uh, it's probably an ash full of that colour. Oh, well, that's far too big. Yeah, that sort of colour. That will do nicely. I can colour you as well. That looks better. Yeah, so that improves that a little bit. And it, it seems to be working reasonably well, but nobody is really making any money. Oh, apart from... Oh, you're making money at last. Excellent. Are you... No, you're not. And um, most annoyingly... The vehicles, the routes bringing the stone in from those two quarries up there, which aren't that far away for these fast trucks, uh, they're not making any money. And as you can see here, although we're producing everything and shipping everything, I think the problem is we're not getting enough supplies in, but the problem is we're not getting enough demand. So we have, I think... To get this working properly, we need to keep demand going up and up. So what I've done, let's pause this for a second so we can have a look at this. We've got this train route here, which is taking Commat out to Cheddar, which has quite a healthy demand, as we've seen before, 126. That's a train route, uh, and that is not making any money at all. But I've also instituted, and I don't think I did this in the episode, so I think this is an off-camera piece of uh, additional routing. So I've added in another truck route, uh, not that one, that one, to deliver Comat into Highbridge, which does have a fairly good demand. I've delivered one so far. Okay, actually there were two. I'm sure I followed a truck just a few minutes ago. Well, it's not so much a truck as a van. One of these carrying... Uh, any of you? No, you're not. Okay. Uh, we'll be curry, curry, currying, even carrying Comat into Highbridge which will hopefully improve demand. We do actually have a few there waiting now. So that should start making money. What I'm hoping is that that demand will pull the supply along with it. So all these other, um, all these feeding routes will also start making money. But what's happened since you were away, apart from me building a roundabout, is in just the last few minutes, in fact, Western Supermare has got demand for Commat. So we could start delivering combat into Western Supermare. But we've also had, and I've not been meeting it at all, quite a, st a stiff, a st a stiff, is that the right word I'm looking for? Quite, quite a sturdy demand, that'll do. <laughs> we've got quite a good demand for combat here in Whirl. It is a bit of a way away from our combat construction. But I don't really want to do it by train. I mean, I could, I could have a train going in from here up to this currently disused, this abandoned freight station here. I could bring that back into use and have a sort of distribution truck depot here. But then I'm thinking, well, I've already got trains, trains, I've got trucks delivering fuel uh, between, uh, from, to into Western from this uh, fuel refinery here, which is quite a distance. So I reckon taking Commat from here, near Breen, into Whirl, won't be that much more of a hassle. But I am still concerned that we've got issues with crossing over these these tracks. I want to get this bridged, I think, another big roundabout with a, a bridge between them. I think that could work. Uh, where are those trucks going? Right, okay, we will mm, no, get those trucks off there. Get you out of the way. And I'll see if I can build a, oh, there's a truck coming in from there. <laughs> 
Everywhere you look, there's a truck. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to break that and that. We're going to break that and that and that. Yes, I know, loads of things are broken now. And that. Okay. Uh, that will work. Actually, no, what I want... Do I want that road to go... Let's get rid of that little bit of road there. Do I want this road to go underneath the roundabout as well? I possibly do. Let's see if I can actually do that. Carry you straight on like so. Okay, now can I build a roundabout? Uh, it's going to be one of these roundabouts with a bridge on it. That's what we're after. And I need to make you two lanes. Yeah, I think two lanes should be alright. The inner radius should be bigger. That does need to be bigger. Ooh, and you fit in straight away. The question is how <laughs> you fit in by actually sitting on top of the track. That's not so good, is it? Well, I take that to 30. Ooh, that, is, that looks quite big. And I think, do you rotate at all? I think you do. Oh, actually, that works. If I slip you in there. Okay, and we'll take that slip road out. I'm going to put in some of this street again. And from there to there. Bridge pillar collision. Oh, it starts doing unnecessary things with the bridge pillars, doesn't it? In there. This could be a bit of an issue. We shall see. Okay, and I want to bring you up to there. That's not too bad, an incline. Do I want that to be a... Yeah, we'll have that as sort of bridgey type thing. That's fine. Okay, so everything has a route again now. But we have got some vehicles which are going off mm, off here onto that could I actually I'm just wondering if that's one way I think it's that one way if I put a one way bit of street in there uh, actually a highway one way is best isn't it I think so can I take you from there to there like so Okay, what do my roots look like now? I think that actually more or less works. So we've got the light blue route, which is the oil. So you're going straight through under the roundabout. We've got the orange line, which is the conmat coming out from the brick factory into... Uh, so it delivers it to the station there and it means I can now set up a truck route We have actually got a spare platform here Which isn't used and I've reconfigured it slightly so we've got some storage space there so we can create ourselves Ooh, West Supermare now wants goods is that instead of the bricks? No, it's an addition to the bricks. That's fine good uh, So stop stop getting distracted man. Where am I looking? Over here. So we want a brand new route. I'll start there on terminal two, I think it is actually. Yes, that's where I want you to go. And from there, you're going into West uh, Whirl all the way up. Oh, actually, no, what I want you to do is go up here because I was thinking. We've already got a delivery service going into Whirl. Okay, we'll need to expand that station, which can deliver the tools, I believe. So this is the... I'm calling it the Whirl Combat Tool Exchange because what I want it to do is also bring tools back which can then be delivered into Breen or in particular Barrow here, which isn't, get any tool, isn't getting any tools at all. So it should make money in both directions. Okay, now we need to sort that route out. We need to make you bigger and pass through. Hmm, okay. 
Let's look at this. Oh, we've got two lines going into... Oh, we need lots more platforms on here. Gosh, yes. Can I? So you are on the right. So I need. To, what if I get rid of that road? The trouble is that is very. <laughs> no, actually, what we'll do if we get rid of that road, which disconnects that uh, truck station there from the tool factory, which is what we do not want to do because it needs to be connected. And if I, I can then freely expand this here. So you can come in and we'll just, again, this is going to be picking up tools. So yeah, we'll just use these these sheds, stabling sheds for that. And we could have another one on here. Yeah, so uh, actually what we'll do is put those sheds along there and our little office on there and then we can have some roads coming out so I should have stayed in configure and there, and there I think and we'll put in some extra streets Here, you can come into number four. That's over there. Oh, and you go through out automatically that way. That is excellent. Right, so that's you sorted. And Clevedon Wood. Actually, if I go here. Actually, I didn't need a fourth, fourth uh, platform on there, did I? Right, so you're coming in that way. Uh, so we'll just put in a little waypoint, I think. Good, so they shouldn't interfere with each, each other too much. If we look at the demand for Conmat, that's all over here, a bit like the tools. And this stop here, which is where the wool, well, tool supply stops off and drops its tools. I go to that. Does cover that whole area, which is rather nice, isn't it? So we actually could rename this. Just call it World Local Supply. So whatever it picks up, uh, those trucks I think can carry everything. May revisit those trucks in due course. So what are we going to do here? We need some vehicles. Yeah, we'll take you. Uh, so no, that's just a stop. That's the depot. That's quite a distance. So it wants to be reasonably fast actually. So 62, yeah, you carry everything. Uh, so, what do we have in the GB set? Galt Transport. I don't know who you guys are. Uh, Asda, no. Argos, no. What about the French? Intermarche. That's Carrefour, no. The German set. DHL. Yeah, we'll use DHL, shall we? We'll use you guys and we'll buy three of you. And we'll set you on to the World Combat Tool Exchange. And I do actually want to work this line somewhat. So it only picks up a combat from here. Uh, it can unload everything. Oh, we've got it to auto save. I'll be right back with you in a moment. And in Whirl, it will only load tools I think we could set a weight on full for both ends I don't want them waiting for too long 
any particular place. I actually have a feeling I need to actually adjust this route again. Look at that. Uh, so we're looking at... Oh, Western Supermare wants tools. So actually what it could do is come back into Western Supermare and drop off the tools here on the way back rather than going to, on to Barrow. I think we might do that to start with, I think. Yeah. Okay, so where are the tools required in Western? Down here, where I don't really have <laughs> any cargo drop-offs. Are you used for anything? You're the local delivery. And oh you're you're just a you're you're gonna be my distribution transfer station. Could really do with a drop-off point here. Okay, let's let's try that. So where can we put one that won't interfere too much with our traffic? Actually, along here might do quite nicely, I think. Let's try that out. Simple stop. Yeah, along here. That covers pretty much all of it, doesn't it? It's on the seafront, which isn't terribly clever. But, you know, we could put it up here on one of these little side roads. Along there. I have a feeling that side road is a very slow speed. It is. It's the slowest, slowest speed, so I'll just replace that. Actually, what's my... Yeah, we'll place it with you. So it's 30 as opposed to 20 miles an hour. Right, so that line then, after coming from World Manufacturing, we're going to stop there. I don't like the fact that it's going all the way through Barrow. I would much rather, actually, it went along these more high-speed country roads without uh, coming across the rail track on a level crossing. Actually, we can do that now. We can. Okay, bear with me a second. Right, so what we're going to do, we can have you come off this roundabout here and go this side of the train tracks. Now, that track isn't used at the moment because that's the freight between uh, wherever we are here, Bar 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 Burnham and Western, so we could come along there. A nice high speed, high speed-ish country road. So come off here, I think. Go along there, that's good. And along here. I'll cut you off, like so. Send you round to join on. That. Good. And will you upgrade? Yes. Yes. There you go. And then you can go... Oh, actually, hmm. You could go straight in that side, couldn't you? That will... Uh, how's that? It's fine. I don't have, seem. I don't have to worry about money these days. I am over two billion in profit, or well, I've got two billion in the bank. There you go. Actually, let's just check that is still connected. Yes, to, to the tools manufacturing plant. Okay, so that line from Whirl then. So it's coming in that side. So it actually wants to go out the other way. Good. And it mostly uses high, higher speed country road. Up to there, go there. That's better. It's a little bit more long way round, but it stops it interfering, I think, with too much else. Right, so we will see if that actually works. Well, okay, you're carrying 14 at the moment. Are you about to deliver? Where are you? 
Right, let me just uh, run this forward a little bit and we'll see how much money this vehicle makes. Oh, I've, I've, had, to, I've had to pause that because I was going to notice this. I saw this was coming. I was going to notice this in the normal run of, of the commentary. But you may notice, if you can see the very bottom of the screen here, uh, where it shows my earnings, the number of passengers and the number of cargo units shipped, I've now carried over 1 million passengers. Yes! Because I noticed when we came in, it was over 999,000. So, well, I'm not sure it was 99, 999, but it was certainly over 990,000 when we came in. And I thought, oh, that's good. And yes, well, I, I'm impressed. So that's a remarkable achievement. Anyway, this vehicle is about to deliver combat into Highbridge. And yes, it's very slightly in profit. Good. So if we can keep demand going in these towns then these routes should start showing a profit. You're, you've got nothing. Which one are you? Not you. You, you're carrying six. We might be getting on okay. How much is our train carrying? Yeah, I was thinking this might stop at a quarry, this quarry here, to sort of make some money on the way back from Cheddar. But these quarries, they're not being used enough yet by the combat plant but hey look it is looks like it's growing so we just need for that demand to pull as I said that uh, that supply chain through so we're gonna leave that running for a little while and I want to look at something else while we're here uh, for this episode this is a silly thing for me to say I want more passengers I want more city growth because we've got a couple of lines on this side of Bristol, the north, kind of the north side of Bristol, which just aren't making enough money um, because we're not shipping enough goods into them. So these towns aren't growing properly. Uh, we've got Avonmouth here, which is kind of OK. It's getting a few machines, but that's about it. Combat and tools. But it's not really growing a great deal as such. In fact, it's tailed off, which I think was partly to do due to the spring update we had. Uh, likewise, Seven Beach. Actually, Seven Beach isn't getting any growth at all from from supplies. So I was thinking I might see if we can get some goods coming in here. What I might, I think, might work here is if we can grow Seven Beach. So can we get any machines or food into Seven Beach? Ah, uh, we've got. Uh, I've got a food plant there. How are you doing? Actually, we could start using you. Right, so if we get more food coming in from this, this Thornbury farm here, we can supply more grain, so that should give us more food coming out of this processing plant, which we can then ship into Seven Beach. Excellent, so how are we going to get that food down here? I'm thinking again, truck. And... We should, apart from getting over that track there, a little bridge, because this farm is in a dip, isn't it? We can do this, I think. I think we can do this. Let's get rid of all this rage. Okay, can we run a little bit of road kind of underneath this? Nope. A bit further down. Nope. Okay, we will play with that. And we will get you... Where are we getting to? Getting to there. How many... We only have the one route in there, which is camp food. So we've got yeah, another platform we can use here, which is excellent. So we'll just uh, configure this. You. Now again, we'll put in some of our little sheddy things. Um, uh, actually, do we? No, we don't want those, do we? Because this is just going to be delivering. Yeah, it's just going to be delivering. So we'll put one in. 
and a little office. That's fine. And you can you can take deliveries into there. So we've got that road coming out there, so we're going to need if I get rid of you. There you can we put a building in there? And it just needs to be the one on the right, I think, doesn't it? Yeah, I think you'll do nicely. Try and get you a bit straight so we can add other platforms on there without too much hassle. So we can configure you. It's not really lower cam, but we'll change that in a second. We'll get rid of you. Put my favourite building on there. Yeah, lots more sheds. Apologies if you have got particularly good hearing and my microphone is delivering it to you, but there's a dog barking somewhere in the village. Uh, so, yes, apologies for any distress that might cause you. You probably can't hear it, to be honest. <laughs> but just, in, just in case, we'll take you out there. And let's get these roads finished up. You're going in there. Oh, actually, I don't like that road. That's better. I think it's a little bit more consistent in style. I'm probably entirely wrong, but, you know, that's what I'm thinking. That's what have you coming straight. Going on a little bit straight. Very briefly. And don't want you going down. Particularly, oh, that'll do. Not too far down, anyway. There we go. And then you can come out here. A little bit. And then connect up there. Good. Should we smooth this out a bit? Again, I will probably add some additional yeah, detailing to that. Oh, you might paint the floor, <laughs> paint the ground. But that will do for now. Uh, that is Thornbury, so this should be Thornbury Farm. Splendid. And oh, we do probably want a waypoint or two on that. I'll just use you. So you're going in that way, and you'll be coming out that way, or going in that way. Just in case. And we've got you there. Well, I probably want waypoints on that, but we'll work that out in a second. So another new line. That will make that odd yellow colour again. And you are coming from there to here. Yeah, you need to come in that way. So we do need another waypoint there. And here. Uh, after Thornbury Farm, you want to come out. Whoops. That way. Good. Should be Thornbury Farm Bulk. Excellent. Yeah, we want a waypoint down there. What waypoint have I used here? Oh, it is indeed that. Good. <laughs> so, in fact, I could put that on the main road here, couldn't I? That turny one. There you go. So after that one, we want to go there, and that is sweet. A little bit of a wait till full. Uh, it should be plenty. I don't think there'll be a problem with. Ooh, what, what do I click there? Should be a problem with that. If I connect this road back up, then we can send you there, upgrade you like so and then we should be able to get vehicles pretty much straight through from there what have we got here you, you're, you, you carry loads you're not hugely fast you are quite expensive to run uh, tipper yeah you're good you're a bit cheap you're 38 hmm do quite, you're a, I don't want a container, no. 
nice tipper would be good. Oh, the man. Yeah, this I, we saw this before, didn't we? The man has lower emissions. Not that we're going through a town, to be honest, but... I, I Yeah, we'll take you. Uh, shall we have four to start with? Okay. And you're going on... Uh, some route here. Thorn I can't spell Thornbury. Hang on, let me get that back and fix it. Alright, so that's going more grain into our food processing plant. We now need to get that food into Seven Beach. We've got some fast roads here. Or we could deliver it here and have these vehicles carry it forward into... Oh, no, they're only going to Pilning. Ah, okay. We could do that, I suppose. But I am rather tempted to have it drive straight through. Uh, ooh! We've crossed over into 2010 and we have lots of new buses. And a few new trains. And I Nacton also now accepts machines. Let's have a look. How are we going to get that food from there into... Yeah, you could come out of here, couldn't you? Yes. You could come out of here. So we're going to need another platform in that, uh, in that truck station. Alright, so if we get rid of this... Like so. Let's uh, take that. We'll configure it to add yet another platform. Again, you're on the left there, so this could be quite busy in that it demands quite a lot of space. Depends how much food builds up here. Well, no, we'll leave it as that. We don't need it to be. Yes, I... yeah, we'll put another one in. Just in case. <laughs> I dare say it won't get anywhere near that capacity. But you never know, do you? So, that's that. So that's where that uh, route's going to come in. We're going to need this first road again. And as we could come off here, we'll go straight from there. We'll go straight from there. And we're going to cut across here. Ah, uh, what the heck? No, we're not going to create level crossing in that tunnel. Good grief. What the heck is it doing? I do know. No, there's definitely a bump in the ground, isn't it? So I should be able to. Right, we'll do that. Uh, well, actually, we won't do it like that because that's going in the wrong dire direction, isn't it? Actually, no, it's not that far off. Something like that. Okay, like so. So it's definitely above above the track and when you connect you up to there no Ooh, this is quite a, a steep incline isn't it by the look of it yeah if, if I got the train ah what are you doing okay mm. embankment there you go Come down. Uh, I think that is just a depot feeder track, I think. Shall I just check that? Yeah, that's just a depot feeder track, so there's nothing going along there normally, so I think they're reasonably safe. Get you to there. Wait for the autosave to finish. Carry on. Not sure why it doesn't want to do. Oh, well, that switch. There's switches there, perhaps, which is what is upset. 
Yeah, the switch is upsetting it. Okay, so something like that then. That'll do. And you can cut across to there. And carry straight down there. There's a serious risk of getting stuck behind a bus. Or go out through, or go through the town of Pilning. Yeah, we'll go through the town of Pilning. In which case, let's redraw that a little bit better. In fact, what it can do, keep it, keep it separate, keep it separate. buildings am I going to delete here? Then you can go in there. Demolishing one building. That's fine. So where in Seven Beach do we want to want bread? So we'll bring up our local bus line to avoid conflicts. We'll put in our drop-off zone. Ooh, right in the centre of town. I think if we put you in here, yeah, we'll slip you in there. And if this takes off and Seven Beach grows, then that bus line will start making money as well, won't it? Yes, that would be so cool. Uh, so, another new line. Uh, what colour do we want? Uh, nice pale yellow. Okay, going, oh, I've got a new line, don't want two of them. So this line here, we're going to start from here and go to there. That looks good. And here, uh, I don't know why you've picked that platform. I want you on platform number one. And you will want to come out that way. Yep, again, a lovely straight through route. A little, little, little bit, of, ah, a little bit of full loading. That will do. And we'll name you Seven Beach Food Delivery. Excellent. And we will want a fair number of reasonably fast trucks to do that, I think. And... We have got a truck depot up there in Pilning. We're going to be carrying food. There we go. And six. No, I don't see you making that much money just yet. 42. Mm. Well, we could use farm foods, couldn't we? Yep, let's use that. Uh, we'll take three to start with, I think. And we'll slip you on Seven Beach Food Delivery. There you go. Okay, now there's one other final little thing that I wanted to do for a couple of ep a couple of episodes now and never quite got into doing. Now you may remember oof, two or three episodes back I created a little sort of local tram line kind of thing between Caldecott and Roger, which is the first passenger service into Roger. So, yeah, as you can see, it made quite a difference to, to the town growth. And what I was thinking was, is why don't we extend that into Chepstow? Yeah, I think we could, we should. Now, what do we have here going into uh, Chepstow? That's trams, this is trains. So going into Chepstow, we have the Midland and Welsh which does connect Chepstow to Seven Tunnel Junction, which then kind of connects into, Col into Caldicott, but it's by no means direct. Uh, now that is quite an express service. Those trains travel at a maximum of 124 miles an hour. It's busy, reasonably profitable. I think it might be worth an upgrade at some point soonish. They are rather nice looking trains though. Mm. Uh, so I don't want, I think, to compromise 
that line too much. Um, so, do we want to add another platform into Chepstow here? Chepstow's a fairly major town round here, this part of the country, so I think that might well make sense. So that's what we will do. Right, so we're going to create ourselves a, another little bay platform along here. Uh, can, can we... Mm. Actually, what can we do here? Platforms. Where, I need platforms. Now, were you, well, you, were, you were the old green colour, weren't you? For whatever, because you weren't part of First Great Western. Ooh, okay. Mm. Not sure I want you... I could... It means I need another building there. If I put you there, can I put a passenger building of some description? Oh, I can. I can put one of these new modern ones, perhaps, in there. Oh, that works. That fits in rather nicely. Doesn't it? Uh, the only trouble is, though, yeah, I don't like that there. This will need to be a, a track. Uh, a high speed track uh, 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 without catenary. And so. And I'm not sure it needs to be that long actually. Because those trains are quite short. Let's, let's see what we can get away with actually. And while I'm here, can I extend that platform? Oh, I can can make that a bit longer that that looks quite nice in which case do I want another one along there I don't really know well let's put that there for now okay so we need track Give me high speed oh actually is this electrified this line I think it might be it is it is okay so we're going to need to electrify that track Oh, in fact, this whole line. Yes, this Wales is much more electrified than England is, as it stands at the moment. So, yeah, catenary is good. And we're going to bring... Oh, I've got a truck depot there. Okay, I'm sure I can get past that. Not if I do that, I can't. If I do that... Oh, that is very slow. <laughs> well, actually, no, that, that might be all right. Oh, yes, so that might well work. Yeah, this road is going to have to be rejigged. Do I have routes along that road? No, I don't. But, actually, no. Let's take you away. I don't want to do that. What we'll do, we'll run as close as we can to the back of that depot, and then just run across the road. Actually, did I, oh, I save, why did I save space in there? I've got my little by the plot markers in there. I obviously had thoughts to do something. Maybe it was exactly this. At some point I've completely forgotten about that plan. Typical. Absolutely typical. Okay. And can I... No, let me do this. Okay, you're a bit slow, but then you are going into a station. That's fine. Right, so we need to get rid of these plot markers. No, and you. So we can then run across that road and the town can start building alongside this track. So across there. Oh, and it's a bridge. Oh, okay. I think we're all right with that. What sort of bridge do we want? <laughs> what do you look like? Oh, you look quite good, I think. You'll do. And you. Yeah. Right, now where the heck are we going? We need to get out of here. And I don't think this serves any purpose anymore. But it might be useful if we actually want to put new trains on there. Possibly. Not sure. <laughs> so, oh well. Uh, so we can turn that on. Parallel tracks. Good. And then run you across here. Nope. 
this road needs to go. I don't know what it's doing, but it's getting in my way, I think, here. We can draw that in again later if need be. That's better. So I draw you across there. And there's too much slope. Darn! Can I do it from there? No. Take you back a bit. Will that work? Yes, it does. That will do nicely. A bit of a curvy route, but then I, I guess, yeah, curves are, yeah, local services. Um, they always have curves, don't they? Put that road back in. Can I put that road back in? Hmm. Not sure. Now, I don't think that road will exist like it did before. If we just run you up there. Is there a possibility? Oh, we could do it like that, which looks awful. If we smooth that ground out a bit, will that help at all? That will be a fun ride. Yeah, that's fine. I don't have routes going along there, so that's all right. Okay, so. Uh, these trains. I look at them. They are, yeah, they are tiny. I don't need much of a platform to support these. So we're going to manage this line. We're going to go from Caldicott. We're going to go to Chepstow. And then we go back to Caldicott. And then we're on our way to uh, to Roger again. Um, could do with a little bit of signalling, perhaps, to make that work. But in the meantime, I will change that. It'll be Chepstow to Roger. Get a bit of signalling on there, which should sort this out, he said, hopefully. I think. Yeah, I'm sure it will. I'm sure it will. Let's have a check of this line. Uh, so you're going in, and yet yeah, you're trying to use the same platform at uh, at Caldicott. Use platform two. There, yeah, that works better, doesn't it? Perfect. Something's still complaining there. It's probably a train that's stuck in a. Yeah, probably that train there, isn't it? Yes. Oh, it's you. No, you do have an electrical path. There you are. No warnings. So where's that other train? Where are you going to go? Oh, you're, you're on your way to Chepstow. Oh, are you, is that like that line's made, not making any money? It's slowly picking up, but it could do with uh, yet yeah, more passengers. And hopefully, this extension to Chepstow will enable that. Excellent. So, I will leave this here then, I think, for now. Thank you so much for joining me today for this episode of Transport Fever 2. I hope you've enjoyed this. Yeah, even the train goes a bit of a roller coaster, doesn't it? <laughs> so, if you've enjoyed this, it'd be great to hear from you. A little bit of a like would be lovely. Even better... If you've got any thoughts on what I'm doing with the game or the game itself, then please do drop a note into the comments box below. That would be awesome. And other than that, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, you could do that now. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Transport Fever 2. Until the next time, bye bye for now.